Virgo, welcome to your message. Let's see what spirit got for you. Got. Let's see what spirit got for you today. <laughs> what you got for my Virgos? Hope you're all doing well. It's been a minute. We're going to start. With an overall energy. Virgo. Okay, get one more. The number 13 could be significant to you. Maybe the number 18. We have air spirit and a foggy bog. You have funny, funny words. Patience and knowledge, Virgo. So there's something that you are starting to understand more, or maybe you're just putting your focus on becoming more knowledgeable about something. Spirit's encouraging you to stay patient, or maybe you've just really been very patient, right? In regards to something that you're trying to understand. This gives me the energy of Somebody who's like, they know what they want or they know the path that they want to walk or that they are walking, but they're also in awareness that it is a journey, right? It's a marathon, not a sprint. I feel like you're learning something new or you're finding out some knowledge that maybe you didn't know before. One more. And beauty, and you're really starting to step into your power, right? We have passage, expansion, stability. So whatever you're becoming more knowledgeable about, whatever you're recognizing within yourself, that self-love, it's starting to really help you expand in regards to the path you're walking. It's, it's giving me like, this feels like a rite of passage or maybe like a door that you now have access to because you have been patient and you've been consistent with how you're trying to develop your gifts or however you're trying to expand, right, in regards to the path you're walking. Like learning more and being patient as you learn more is starting to unlock new doors for you. Doors that maybe were once closed before. I don't know why I always rhyme. <laughs> I don't even be trying to. It's like, this. like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But beauty. I think that your life's about to get a lot more beautiful. You're definitely a beautiful spirit, right? A beautiful divine being, but your focus, this beauty is about to start showing itself in different ways, not only in your physical self, not only in the environment around you, but you're gonna start to see beauty in a lot of things because new doors are opening. So this is gonna be the type of beauty that maybe you weren't able to recognize before simply because you haven't experienced things like this before. With grace. I feel like you're the type of person, Virgo, who really, all the good things coming to you, you really do deserve, you know? I feel like you've been very patient and you've been very consistent or persistent with like trying to better yourself or your situation. And I feel like now that you're walking through this door or you're, um, I feel like your patience or your hard work per se is paying off. And I feel like you're not gonna be one to um, disregard all of the time, effort, and energy that you have put into something, right, to receive this, this these blessings. Last card we have is renewal. Like, you're going to be appreciative of these new doors opening, is what it looks like, because through your patience, right, and through that knowledge, that focus of understanding, it's taught you a lot about, I guess, yourself or what you want. And with renewal, it's like this is a whole new start or a new chapter or a new experience that is opening up to you. Let's see what this new experience is about for Virgo. So Virgo, finally getting access to environments or doors that you didn't used to have. I don't know, maybe you're just having new experiences that you haven't had before. First card we have out is the Queen of Wands very vibrant, very excited, very attractive energy, right? This is you realizing, bottom of the deck, three of wands, that all of that time you put into planning, right? Planning your 
goals or desires, all of that time, effort, patience that you've put into it, this is you recognizing, oh, it's happening now, right? It's happening now. You could be, um, there could be a lot of different people attracted to you actually, because we also have beauty out here. So there's something about you, Virgo, that is you're drawing in a lot of energy or a lot of attention maybe, or you're just very good at what you do and it's attracting a lot of eyes. You are the light, judgment. Mm. I feel like this is you putting something to rest, right? Putting an old chapter to rest and finally allowing yourself to be liberated or freed so that you can expand to this new level. It's almost like going from maybe a very 3D sense of reality, a very like, yeah, practical one into a more spiritual one, right? It's almost like going from, it's about perspective, right? Your perspective is shifting because you're putting an end to certain things that used to limit your ability to expand. And the Six of Wands. Virgo, you got a big victory coming here. You got a big victory on the way. King of Wands on the bottom. We could be talking about you and another coming together with the King of Wands, Queen of Wands. But we can also just be talking about your ability to shine in the spotlight. Whatever it is you do, you're very charismatic. You're very attractive. You're very, um, you're a very good leader. You wear the spotlight well. I feel like there's something here you're putting to rest so that you can really step into this energy of your dreams, your goals, your some type of wish fulfillment. There's gonna be a lot of attention on you moving forward. Or maybe just more attention than you're used to. Like I said, those new doors are gonna be opening for you, Virgo. That's what I'm picking up here. Three of Pentacles, and people are gonna to want to build with you. There's something that you do, Virgo, you're just good at. This could be like anything. This could be work, hobbies, talents, passions, I don't know. But whatever it is, you stand out like a sore thumb and you're gonna to start to get a lot more recognition or a lot more just people seeing you do what you do and being like, damn, Virgo really is not, Virgo is good at that. Like Virgo is great at their, their, whatever they're focusing on. But like I said, it was not easy for you to get here, right? With patience and knowledge coming out first, it's like you had to be patient and go through the steps, go through the motions so that you can become knowledgeable enough to exist in the, in the place you're stepping into now. It's not like this was an overnight type of success type of thing, right? Your beauty is standing out. Your love for life is starting to be renewed and you're doing it all gracefully. It's not like you're doing it from a place of, oh, I deserve this, so I, yeah, I don't know. It feels like you're doing it from the love of your heart, whatever it is you're doing, whatever attention is being brought to you. Last card. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. You could have two different love offers or two different offers on the table in general. Um, I feel like one of them is very appealing, but it doesn't seem like you're interested in it. You're going a different path, maybe going the path that, the path less traveled, I'd say, with the Knight of Pentacles. But this is what came out, the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups reverse. So wherever you're going, this is gonna be long-term success with the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. This isn't gonna be the type of success that happens overnight and then it's gone tomorrow. This is gonna be something that it will, it will last for a long time. So whether it's a successful relationship, job, connection, I don't know. This is something that because there's so much thought and plan behind the intention of whatever is being had here, it's going to last a long time. You're gonna take your time, you're gonna be methodical, you're gonna be successful. People are gonna to wanna to grow with you and build with you. The past is definitely gonna to try to show up because it always does when we're walking into a chapter of success and you're gonna be in your confidence. What you do with the past is totally up to you. I just see it showing up. <laughs> I see it showing up. You got what's some potential challenges for Virgo. The Four of Swords. Taking some time for yourself, resting, healing. The Ten of Pentacles, ooh. 
Healing your relationship with money, maybe. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Maybe healing relationships with your family members or just people that are close to you could be a potential challenge. Also, just like handling your money in a in a wise way. Four of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. And the Death card, yeah. Oh, maybe adjusting to change. Allowing yourself enough time and space to rest as you adjust to these big changes that are happening in your life might be a potential challenge. Like finding a good balance between working and investing in whatever you're doing and then taking time for yourself to rest as you kind of adjust or transition into this new reality of abundance and fortune. Yeah. Any advice for Virgo? The Nine of Wands. Persevere. Do not give up. No matter how far you've walked th down this path, keep going. Don't give up. We also have the Seven of Cups. And we have the Sun. Your advice, don't, um, don't settle. Don't settle for less. Because you've already invested so much into yourself or whatever you're trying to do. You've already gotten this far. Don't settle for less. Keep, make sure that you are understanding your value and, under, and exhausting or exploring all of your options. Not exhausting. Make sure you're exploring all of your options so that you don't feel like you're settling. Because you are somebody that is of great, great value. Somebody that people want to work with, grow with. You're very talented, very gifted. Take your time with the choices or opportunities that are offered to you because there's a reason they're being offered to you. You have a very, very um, positive light about you, very abundant uh, spirit. Advice. All right, any messages from the universe for Virgo? Also, advice, be happy, right? Enjoy the, enjoy the little things. Enjoy the moment. The Two of Swords is what the universe has for you. Also, advice, dream big with that Seven of Cups. Dream big. Use your imagination. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. One more. And the Five of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. What the universe has for you. Do not shy away from new experiences. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Work hard, stay focused, be open to the new, and put yourself in positions to become more knowledgeable, right? Don't be afraid to go after what you want. We also have the Lovers and the Two of Cups. So, again, with like new connections and new relationships, be open to it, right? If someone or something feels right energetically, it doesn't have to be a person, but just be open to things that feel good and don't let the past have any type of influence over your present, right? Learn from the past, but don't let what has happened in your past, don't let that dictate whether or not you're gonna be open to new experiences. Also, what the universe has for you is the chariot, so in regards to your work, you're going to be making great progress, great strides forward. Um, in regards to your love life, great progress, great strides forward. And I feel like there's someone new or something new here that is going to really... Um, I don't want to say challenge you, but they're going to... It or they will open you up to a new experience that might be very fulfilling for you. What came out on the table, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Um, try to keep an open heart, right? Try to keep an open heart to the possibilities. Don't let your mind rule over your heart, right? Allow them to kind of coexist together in balance because when they're, when they're fighting each other, it can really lead to these feelings of things being out of alignment or things just feeling off and not very abundant, right? Like when you don't be, don't let yourself be your own worst enemy because of 
overthinking or indecisiveness or being overly emotional. Like try to try to ground your energy, try to ground yourself in regards to whatever comes your way in life and allow your heart and your mind to work as a team because it will make things easier for you. But it's time for something new. It's time for something different. It's time for Virgo to move forward, move um, move into like calmer waters, I guess. But there's renewal here. You're very talented, very gifted. A lot of beauty is kind of, I mean, you already know Virgo. You already know how beautiful you are, how um, divinely blessed you are. So keep doing you. This is what I have for you today. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel, book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. And I'll see you soon. Bye.